Hi everybody, welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. I've got a really great card layout to show you today. It's something that you're gonna be able to use with so many of your stamp sets. Um, just enjoy the video and afterwards you can head over to my website, sunnydaystamping.com and you'll find a blog post that has all the measurements for this card so you can remake it. I like to make projects that you can do yourself at home so you can um, also you'll find additional photos and you can purchase supplies if you want your cards to look just like mine. Um, if you are going to purchase supplies make sure to use my host code um, as part of my customer bonus program you can earn points towards a free stamp set. You can find my host code at the top of my website, um, the current one all the time at the top of my website. All right, let's get started. So you can see this card is very simple and it really highlights the focal point and you could put anything on this stamped white piece. But the trick is you want to pick a really bold color and then use the same color cardstock to really make that pop. And then use any designer series paper that's more muted. I love this country gingham. Let me show you. It's got all these wonderful uh, checks and je they just make great backgrounds. Um, this is on the retiring list. So if you love this Country Gingham Designer Series paper, grab it today before it's gone. Um, and then we're just gonna mount it on a piece of crumb cake because I just want the background to be muted so that focal point will pop out. I'm gonna be using the Pansy Patch stamp set, but you could put anything in there. So I'm gonna be using the Pansy Patch stamp set. It's an oldie, but such a goodie. It's such a goodie, it's actually carrying on to the next annual catalog. If you're someone who likes to buy the stamp and die set together um, as a bundle, you'll want to make sure to get that before the end of April because after that, they'll both be available in the new catalog, but not at that 10% uh, bundle price. Now, I'm not using the dies today. We're just going to be using the stamps. And when I first got this stamp set, I'm like, oh my goodness, how do these stamp sets go together? So, I just want to give you a tip when you are kind of overwhelmed by your stamp set, make yourself a map where you on this side of your paper, you are building the images as they should be. And then as you go down the line, take the pieces apart um, so that when you go to stamp your image, you don't have to guess, you know exactly what pieces that you want. Now I will put a picture of this over on my blog post so that you can uh, copy it if you have any confusion about your stamp set. Now we're gonna just stamp that large flower on this small piece of uh, white cardstock. I'm gonna stamp this one full strength like this. And then the second piece to that flower, instead of having to buy a different color, we're gonna use the same color. We're gonna stamp it onto our scrap paper and then match it up on here. And you can see you get two different colors out of the same stamp set. Now I'm just going to build my flower going off of that stamp map. And this pansy is so awesome because you can, you can just really get creative with the colors. And I've got a bunch of examples to show you um, at the end of this video. The last little thing, you can add a little inside. And I want this to be extra dark. So just like here, I stamped off to create a lighter shade. You can also layer it up, like stamp it two or three or four times to get a nice dark center. Now, because I don't have a million stop stamp blocks, I'm going to wipe off these stamps and put them back in the case. And then I'm going to grab the leaves and put those on the stamp blocks just like this. So I'm gonna grab the stem and I'm gonna make sure that that touches my flower so it's not just floating into outer space. Oh goodness, my stamp is not sticking anymore. I'm gonna have to use my tip of <laughs> wiping it with alcohol. Okay, so this one I want to stamp off first and then put on the end of this stem, making sure it touches and do the same for this other side. Now, it has an inside that just really gives dimension to that leaf. And so you're gonna stamp it right over the top of it using full strength green. Doesn't that look great? So before I put all my inks away, I'm actually gonna grab the inside of my card and go ahead and stamp that right now. 
So I'm going to choose a sentiment out of there. This this stamp set has some of the best stamp set or uh, sentiments. I just, I love the print and I love what they say too. This one, I'm going to make a birthday card and this says, wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you. I just, I love that. Now you could leave it just like that but I am going to add a little tulip, or I'm sorry, a pansy little um, bulb. No, what are they? A baby pansy. <laughs> I'm not up on my gardening. So you can add this little stem. And we'll do this one in purple. So this little um, baby pansy, what do you call them? I'm like completely blanking. All you gardeners out there are probably totally cringing. So you're going to stamp this off and then stamp it on your paper close to the stem and then we're going to grab the inside of that flower there isn't that beautiful oh my goodness i didn't realize i was sagging down my camera was <laughs> sagging i hope that wasn't too annoying okay so i picked a piece of designer series paper and this one is a little bit bold with the red so i want to make sure to pick a really bold um uh cardstock layer to make my focal point pop. So I picked the gorgeous grape, which is going to really pick up the center of that flower. You can get all the measurements for these over on my website. If you're an email subscriber, you'll be getting this in your email on Friday morning. Um, if this is past the time that I've done this video, just let me know that you want this, um, this project sheet and I'll email it to you. But if you'd like to sign up for my uh, email list, there's a link in the description. So now that you've got these layered, we want to do our sentiment for the front. So you want to pick if you're going to do a thank you, happy birthday, or a love you so much. And I'm going to do a happy birthday. So you're just going to take your sentiment and put it on a piece of scrap paper. And then grab the double oval uh, punch. I hope you can see that. This is one of the best for doing sentiments like on the front of your card and making them fancy with like no extra fuss. So you just punch that baby out. And now take the same color of cardstock for these layers. You're going to have some scrap. And grab a piece and put it in the scalloped one. And now just layer these on top of each other. All right, so now we're ready to finish up our card already. I'm just going to place this on the front of my card because I want to figure out where I want my sentiment. And we're going to um, actually glue this only to this part. So you're just going to put glue just on just a part of that and lay it down. And so we're creating one big layer that we're going to cover in dimensionals. You can, you can glue it directly on your card, but this is just going to pop it up a little bit. These are little foam stickies, and it just creates like a tiny shadow, which offsets that focal point even more. And so then you just lay it right on top. Put your inside in there. And there you go. You've got a very quick card. Now, if you want this to be just a little extra fancy, you can grab yourself a piece of ribbon and put it at the base of that flower. I'm going to use this linen thread because, well, you guys know, I, I struggle. I struggle with tie bows, and this is some of the easiest. Now, I'm actually going to double this over because I want my bow to not be so tiny, I guess. Can I do this on the first try? I, I can tell you right now, I did not cut myself enough thread and this is going to be difficult. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. No, that was not enough. I'm always trying to scrimp. I don't know why I make it so difficult on myself. And just tie a bow like you would for your shoes. You'd think this would be easier. <laughs> oh, I know why. I'm pulling the tail. See, because it's doubled, I'm confusing my own self. There we go. Okay, okay, this looks horrible, but just wait for it. Wait for it. Hold the middle of your bow and just make it, just mess around with it until it looks amazing. Pull your, pull your tails. 
You can see I did not do this very well. I didn't do it very evenly. Okay, I'm going to pull this other tail. There we go. You know, I'm not happy with the length of these tails. I'm doing this again, people. When I am off camera, I do amazing at this. I think I just get nervous when I'm on camera. Okay, so if you've done a double, you can see that you need to snip this piece here. And that is gonna create your tails. And if you want it to, um, I like to pull one of each side so that the loops um, are not the same size. And then we're gonna trim those off. And now we'll add that to the front. You can use your liquid glue, but I really like to use um, a little mini glue dot. It's just easier for me. You just kind of ball it up into a little ball. What? Oh my goodness, I lost my earbud. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. And then put the knot on there and then place it right there. Okay, I struggled, but it worked. Let me show you the examples. So here's all the ones I made using that same layout, same designer series paper. I just switched up the colors. Now I use this same color palette. Um, I'll put all these colors on the supply list and you can just mix and match them to create all of these flowers and then just pick your, um, the boldest color in your flower will be the background. Let me just show you a couple of the insides of these just to give you uh, um, a different idea. I had some leftover scraps so I put that on the inside and let me show you this one has a little different layout where I put the sentiment at the bottom. If you're a bargain shopper, make sure to take advantage of the retiring product sale going on right now at Stampin' Up! through the end of April 2023. Um, if you're a really bargain shopper, you may want to consider joining Stampin' Up! You can buy the starter kit for $99. You pick $125 worth of products of your choice. And then all your purchases after that are 20% um, off. You can even, uh, as you level up, get up to 25% off. Um, you can be your your only customer also. You don't necessarily have to sell anything if you don't want to make it a business. If this is something that you're interested in, I've got um, information on, on my website, but also in the description of this video. But you can always reach out to me to see if this is a right fit for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.